So this week we're going to take a look at the results of the UK election and the implications that has in portfolios. So it's been another political surprise, the result of the UK election. This was a snap election called to provide continuity and stability and a strong hand going into the European negotiations for Brexit. And the outcome has been one that is likely to pose more questions rather than less. And this will increase levels of uncertainty. In the run up to the election, we've seen asset prices like sterling, commodities as oil and gas and uh, fixed income markets trade broadly sideways. But we have continued to see new highs in equity markets, both the FTSE 100 and the 250. And that's largely, we think, as a result of the continued strength in the global economic story. So overnight, the election result of a hung parliament has seen the markets open Friday morning with sterling down 2%, the FTSE 100 index, the main index, up, and the FTSE 250 index down. The, it's very early days in this discussion. There are a lot of questions. How, how will this affect the negotiating hand of the UK going into Brexit? It's too early to determine. We may see more volatility, and we're going to have to wait and see how that plays out. The markets are constantly challenged by event risks. These known unknowns are always looking ahead of us. Elections are a very good example of this. And we have the German elections coming up in September later this year. Whatever the short term impact of this election may be, it's our view that the economic environment within the UK remains supportive for UK equities within a diversified portfolio. Diversification is one of our key investment principles that helps us to insulate portfolios from such risks. So whilst we may see some implications in the UK and for UK assets, we still believe it's the big global picture that drives everything and the big global macro forces that determine how we invest and ultimately what performance will look like. We believe that this is much more of a political issue than an economic one.